Hey guys, Nick Shulman from Showtime Strength and Performance. What I want to talk about today is using the West Side principles with youth athletes. Now, when I talk youth athletes, I throw in college athletes, high school athletes, middle school athletes. All right, so when I say West Side principles, what I'm talking about is the max effort training, the dynamic effort training, all right, rotating your bars, ro using accommodating resistance, rotating the intensities. All right, I think it's huge for athletes to learn how to accelerate through the entire range of motion. When I started using speed work with our athletes, our athletes became faster, they became more powerful. All right. For the longest time, I stayed on five by five, five, three, one, linear models with our athletes. What I noticed though, was they got good at sub-maximal weights and they got really bad at maximal effort weights. So the issue with that is sports are max effort. All right, we train a lot of softball players here um, from probably eight years old all the way through college at the highest level. They need to learn how to produce max effort with everything they do, all right? Softball, I think, is the closest thing to a strength sport in a team setting you can get. And my reason why is because it's about five seconds of action followed by a long break. So what our softball girls need to learn is how to fire as quickly and efficiently as possible, all right? So that sounds easy, but if they're not trained to do that, then they're not gonna be able to transfer it to the field. So what I've seen is our pitchers are throwing harder. Our girls are hitting harder when they're up to bat. All right, that has direct carry over to the field. All right, so using the speed work was the best thing that we did for our athletes. Now, because we're in an um, athlete setting, you know, we have 15 to 20 athletes at a time. You know, there's even team settings we use a lot of contrast training. So they will squat and then they will jump and then they will prehab and they will cycle through, all right? So that makes it a little bit different than a true west side setting where if you're squatting, you're squatting. But it's the idea, it's the principles, all right? That you carry from west side barbell to our athletes here. The exercises that we use are the same. Our kids squat heavy, they pull heavy, and they squat fast and they pull fast. Same with the pressing movements, all right? Um, they won't get slow, they won't get bulky. They will gain size because they'll start using more weight with the combination resistance, all right? They will start using more weight through the entire range of motion with all their lifts, all right? Then when they go to do their single leg exercises, they'll be using more weight on those. So they will gain weight, they will gain some size, but as long as you keep your mobility in check, um, for our girls, it's always a two to one. So they'll do two pulls to one push, all right? So that's why if they're benching, they're gonna do face pulls, pull aparts, some upper back work every set, all right? So the West Side principles have worked great for our athletes, and I will do a full article explaining this, and I will include the link of how we use it with our youth athletes. All right, if you guys have any questions, um, leave a comment below, or you can email me, nick at showtimestrength.com.